Big series between the Boston Red Sox and Houston Astros underway tonight. Sox getting their first look this season at the league best Astros and proving they can play with the big boys. Let's pick things up in the bottom of the six. Sox up one nothing. Two on two out. Carlos Carrera delivers one to right, but Mookie Betts showing you why you can't count him out of the MVP race. Guns down George Springer at the plate. Next inning, Sox still holding a thin lead until this happened. Brian McCann takes Drew Pomeranz deep to right for a solo shot. Tie a game. Then it's Mookie Betts all over again. Showing off his arm earlier. How about his bat this time? Cranks one out to left to give Sox a 2-1 lead late in the game where it would remain. Sox win the first of this series 2-1. Rick Porcello takes the mound tomorrow night at 8. And Yankees also in action tonight, trying to hold on to a one and a half game lead over the Sox, but riding a four game losing streak heading into tonight's game against Jesse Hahn and the Athletics. And they can thank Ryan Healy for losing this one. Healy goes yard twice, both solo shots, both off Masashiro Tanaka and both out to center. You might even think that this was a replay if I wasn't telling you that they were two different homers. Yankees fall 5-2 to two for the fifth straight loss and remain only half a game above the surging Red Sox. They look to avoid the sweep Sunday at 4 p.m. Legion Baseball this afternoon, Brattleboro post five, taking on the Brockville, Ontario Bunnies in SD Ireland punch out cancer tournament. Low scoring game tied one. Brockville's Ethan Baldwin with a rip down the right field line to give the team the lead. Brockville up four to one, heading to the bottom of the six. And what's a good game without a good rally? Brattleboro responds as Jeremy rounds with the should be third out in the six, but the shortstop misplays it. Two runs come in to get post five within a run, and let's finish that comeback off. Bottom seven, two on, two out. Chris Carroll drops one between a pair of bunny outfielders. Two runs come around to score, and the defending state champs win it. Five for the final in favor of Brattleboro. The tournament continues tomorrow. Now to an update on Woodstock native Keegan Bradley at the U.S. Open. We've been following the 2011 PGA champ who is having a rough day of it on the green. He posted a three over 75, dropping him to four over for the tournament. But hey, he's probably pretty happy to even be playing. Several big names like Jason Day and Rory McIlroy didn't even make the cut. So that's like a hole in one right there. But the leader, well, that would be Justin Thomas at 11 under. He shot a U.S. Open record nine under par, 63 today to claim the lead. And it's one of the biggest sports events in Vermont. The 20th annual Nordic Cup underway. More than 3,000 soccer players from Vermont, neighboring states, and Canada, Canadian provinces are taking part in the tournament in Essex and Stowe. Nordic Soccer is one of the premier travel clubs, soccer clubs in the area, and the teams help youth and high school players develop their game. Now, many of the Nordic alumni also go on to play in college. They spend the summer traveling around our region Region for tournaments, but this event allows Nordic somewhat of a home field advantage. We ask a lot of our kids and our parents to travel to find good competition and for us to have a weekend a year where we're at home on our home soil where we train. Uh, it's just a huge benefit and it's, it's part of the learning process for our kids. And what a tournament format does, it allows teams from Connecticut, New Hampshire, Maine, Rhode Island, uh, and Canada to travel into our area and for us to compete against different level players. Uh, just to get our name out there, it's a really big tournament for Vermont and it brings competition to all all of our teams so we're just here to play that's one of my favorite tournaments so I'm always looking forward to it um, I mean I think our team really gets pumped up to play and so it's exciting the Nordic Cup continues through tomorrow well Celtics fans are blowing up social media today wondering if general manager Danny Ainge has might have lost his mind rumors running rampant on if the Celtics will trade the number one pick in this year's draft it's something they've been wanting for years that number one pick and those rumors were pushed further along with Markel Fultz the favorite to be picked at the top working out in Philadelphia today that's what you're looking at right now 76ers have the third pick and are said to be in serious talks with the Celtics right now with trading up to snag the athletic point guard out of Washington. ESPN's Chad Ford reporting the Celtics are looking for more draft picks in return. 
The draft is Thursday night at 7. Pretty, I mean, you're looking at showcasing athleticism right there by Markel Fultz, and Celtics might be giving up on that. You never know what the Celtics are going to do. You never do. Danny Ainge is just going to blow your mind regardless <laughs> of what happens. So. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, thank you.